episode story number six, Niffle and the Nightmare. In Niffle's cozy underground cavern filled with glowing glass bottles, Niffle, the tiny dreamkeeper, is busy rearranging the bottles, his large eyes sparkling with a mix of mischief and care. However, tonight, there's a palpable tension in the air. Dreams, dreams everywhere. So many dreams to keep safe. But something feels off tonight. He peers around the cavern, sensing something amiss. Suddenly, a cold breeze with a dark shadow sweeps through the corridors of the cavern, flickering the lights of dream bottles once again. Niffle shivers with unease. Oh, what was that? Shadows again? Dreams don't like the shadows. <laughs> Neither does Niffle. As he turns back to his work, a shadow flickers at the edge of his vision. Niffle spins around, his heart pounding again. Who's there? Show yourself! The shadow darts across the room, knocking over a few bottles. Niffle gasps, running to go over to catch them before they hit the ground. He manages to save them, but the shadow is gone. Oh dear, oh dear, what are you? Keep coming to my place. Must be careful, the dreams are too precious. Just then, a loud chiming sound echoes through the cavern. Niffle's eyes widen in alarm and determination. Someone's calling for their dream. No time to waste. He rushes over to his book, flipping through the pages quickly as his tiny hands tremble with urgency. Oh, Mr. Lewis, she's having a nightmare. So Niffle tunes into the energy, animating from Mr. Lewis. Trauma? Nightmares? He had when he was younger. Oh no, no, must hurry. You're the shadow. Niffle grabs a bottle of glowing elixir healing energy with a gentle green light. He takes a big deep breath, focusing hard, and in a flash he clicks his fingers and he teleports into Mr. Lewis's bedside. Mr. Lewis is just in a panic. The tension in the room is thick and the energy is draining Niffle. No, shadow, you won't run. I've got this. This dream needs to help him heal. Niffle looks over to the window, his eyes widen and his mouth drops. It's the first light of the dawn and it's breaking through the window. Niffle tiptoes at lightning speed, making sure he is unseen. He uncorks the bottle, letting the dream flow into Mr. Lewis's mind. Come on, come on, dream healing energy. Quick, quick. But the light is coming into the room and Niffle doesn't want Mr. Lewis to wake. So he teleports to the top of Mr. Lewis's cupboard and pushes a blanket off the top of the cupboard. Oh. As it falls, it perfectly covers the light of the window coming into the room, which allows Mr. Lewis to sleep and dream more. In turn, his face relaxes into a peaceful smile as he receives the healing elixir. Sweet healing dreams. A little longer now, Mr. Lewis. Enjoy it. Niffle's intuition leads him directly to look at Mr. Lewis's alarm clock, patiently on top of his bedside. The energy of it is calling to Niffle. He jumps and teleports over to the alarm clock as it makes its very first clang against the two bells. He snaps his fingers and teleports the now ringing alarm clock back with him to his cavern. As he is hugging his body against the alarm clock, the vibration is erratic and trembles and vibrates Niffle. <laughs> Niffle finally falls down with the alarm clock as its final bells are chimed. The shadow is nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh. Then the shadow reappears, this time larger and more menacing. It swirls around Niffle, knocking over bottles and shells and filling the cavern with a sinister presence. Niffle gasps, trying to catch the bottles, but none of them shatter, releasing a dark, swirling mist. It's another one of Mr. Lewis's dream. No! What a nightmare! Mr. Lewis's nightmare mist engulfs the cavern, turning the warm glow into a chilling darkness. Niffle struggles to contain it, his tiny hands trembling with fear. No, must stop it. Dreams are so precious, nightmares cannot escape. He chants softly, trying to recall the nightmare to enchant it. But the nightmare is too strong. It lashes out, wrapping around Niffle's legs and pulling him into its dark depths. Niffle fights back his eyes filled with determination. I won't let you harm the dreams. Nightmares feed on the light to fuel it, to keep it alive. So using dream-keeping alchemy, he transformed the nightmare into a beautiful dream, from dark energy into light. By first trapping it into a dark bottle where no light can enter it, he tricks the nightmare by manifesting a false light into the bottle. Oh, what's this light just for you? Just as the nightmare seems to almost overpower him, 
Niffle spots a faint flickering light into the dark bottle, glowing with an intense radiant light. Niffle reaches out his fingers and pulls the nightmare into the dark bottle. Ah, uh, in there you are. With all his strength, Niffle closes the bottle, containing the nightmare, engulfs it, and takes the darkness out of the cavern, which slowly returns its beautiful glow. But Niffle collapses, exhausted and shaken. Ah, uh, uh, dreams are safe for now. He looks around the cavern, eerily quiet. The nightmare is gone, but the sense of unease lingers. Niffle knows this isn't the end. I must stay vigilant. The nightmares are growing stronger, but I will protect the dreams, no matter what. Using dream-keeping alchemy, he chants over the dark bottle to transmit the energy. The bottle rattling with unease, and eventually it calms down. The threat of the dreamkeeper lingers heavily in the air. He looks around as almost the dreams are watching him, like children scared of the dark. He walks down deeper into the basement of the cavern and opens a large heavy trunk of nightmares which he locked away for good. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Mr. Lewis's bedroom, the nightmare is now gone. Niffle winds back his alarm clock and teleports it with himself back into Mr. Lewis's bedroom. He snaps his fingers and teleports back to the cavern. Mr. Lewis wakes up by the alarm clock. Now an hour later, stops the alarm and with a smile looks around the room to find a blanket now covering his window. He tilts his head and mm. frowns with confusion on his face. Niffle's battle with the nightmares has only just begun. What other dark forces lurk in the shadows, waiting to disrupt the peace of dreams? The answers lie in the dreams yet to come. <laughs>